Hey guys, thank you for coming to my channel, Healing to Express. We're going to go ahead and get some messages for our cancers. We're going to see what type, this, what type of energy is coming in for you guys with this full moon in Virgo. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, give me clear and true messages for our cancers. What's going on this full moon for them? Like, subscribe, and share, guys. Right? We got confidence. Yeah, you need to have confidence. We got commitment coming out. Okay. I just did um Sagittarius. Maybe you're dealing with a Sagittarius. We got happiness coming out. Wow, we got passion coming out. <laughs> okay. At the bottom of the deck, we got trust. Let's see what's going on. What do you need to have confidence in, Cancer? The moon and Virgo spirit. What's the message? Confidence here for cancer. Hmm. I guess confidence that you can have a new beginning and stability and an abundance. Wow. Yeah. So maybe you need to have confidence that you can, you know, achieve this goal, that you could manifest the goal that you desire. Wow. Any more? Yeah. We got the moon coming out. Wanted to come out in reverse. So maybe, you know, you deal with some fear and anxiety around having this new beginning in your life. Wow. Or it could be some secrets, okay? I don't know. Everybody's story's different. <laughs> yeah. Wow. We got the queen. Of yeah. Wow. We got the Queen of Pentacles, so yeah, that's what I'm getting. You're trying to have the confidence that you can have this new beginning and be stable. This could be a, I don't know, a secret, but yeah, and you can have this Ten of Pentacles, okay? I mean, this, yeah, Ten of Pentacles, that you can create wealth and have a happy family and a stable home, okay? A strong foundation. You need to have confidence in that. Why is commitment here? We got the hermit and the two of swords. So maybe hmm, you're doing some soul searching. Not seeing the truth in a situation. Or you could be facing a challenge or a decision that needs to be made. Okay. Yeah, we got the King of Swords in reverse. Wow. Maybe you're being a little stagnated. Okay. In the commitment that you're already in. You're unwilling to see the truth. Maybe it's a lot of drinking, overindulging going on. Okay. A lot of player energy. We got the king of wands out here. Okay. Maybe you're trying to be confident in this commitment. <laughs> Four of swords. So maybe you're... Um, you're just trying to meditate. Okay. You had a lot of anxiety around this commitment situation. But we got happiness coming and passion, okay? Maybe this relationship's, you know, you're trying to have the confidence in it. This commitment that you have made. Yeah, we got strength coming out. So you're trying to gain your strength. You're trying to be happy. But you're not, okay? This is the four of wands in reverse. You're unhappy. You're ready to leave the situation, okay? 
It's instability in the home, but you're trying to be happy and have the strength. Yeah, it's King of Pentacles. Wow, maybe it's about your stability. Because the King of Pentacles is someone that, you know, has stability. Could be a husband as well. Wow. Yeah, you're trying to manifest something new maybe. Trying to have the confidence, okay? To create a new idea maybe. Or maybe you want to offer your emotions somewhere else. Somebody that you're passionate about. Why is passion here? Yeah, we got the page of swords coming out. Maybe you have a curious mind about somebody that you're passionate about. Or you're trying to stand up for justice and have confidence. Okay. Tell me why passion, okay? Yeah, you're trying to have patience, okay? You're trying to balance yourself out. Maybe practicing some self-control right now. We got the queen of wands coming out. Maybe this is someone you're passionate about. Or well, once again, you're trying to be in your power, okay? You're trying to work really hard. Maybe you invested in something, okay? Or maybe you invested in the Queen of Wands. Take it how it resonates. Yeah. Let's see what else. Why is passion here? The Cancer. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. Hmm. So you're ready to have a new beginning. Possibly in love, okay? Fulfillment. Maybe you got some new friends, a new lover in mind that you're very passionate about at the bottom of the deck. But you need to trust, okay, that whatever situation you're dealing with is going to come together for your highest good. Wow. All right. Let's get what you need to surrender. Why does cancer need to surrender spirit? Right? Surrender to play. Maybe you're being too serious. Take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. Surrender to denial. Wow. Accept people in situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decision, okay? We have surrender to trust. Trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. Yeah. It's time to, time to make a decision. It's time to commit to a situation. Yeah, you need to find balance. I have countless opportunities each day to create balance, joy, and freedom within my life. And then we have attachments coming out. I will no longer hold attachment. I will allow myself, the universe, and the ascended masters to work in harmony on all my heart's desire. Yeah. And then at the bottom of the deck, we got in divine timing, all right? Everything in your life is going to work out for you, Cancer. what's going on with the love romance we, we got okay this could be the one you already met the romantic partner you seek and then we have make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take okay what else there we got honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together but at the bottom of the deck, we got to pay attention to the red flags, though, okay? The signs are cautioning you. You need to listen to your intuition. Wow. This is the message I have for you, Cancer. Like and subscribe.